We are the oh, battle the boys. boys. We are oh, the battle, battle boys. boys. We, we play are the with little toys. toys. Tom, Tom is Ben not are here. We Lewis are the battle, battle boy. boy. Alex is a battle boy. You we guys are the battle, battle boys, boys as, well. as well. That's it. We did That's it. That's it. That was perfect, See, wasn't it? Every time we have to do it slightly ad libbed and yeah. differently mm. um, and awkwardly as well, just to get mm. over that initial. Like yeah. fear of being on the internet in front of everyone. Yeah, that's it. I'm kind of I feel loose now. You know, like it's when you watch runners warming their hands up like yes. this before they start sprinting. I don't know what so that's about. Today we're playing Warhammer 40k mm. Necrons versus Dark Elves. Mm, Dark this elves. is a custom-built set mm. given to us by SC Reconcile. If you're in the chat, holy shit! It's got a fucking Fucking one of these, and what's this called? A fucking danger a, a, orb. A, a wibble orb. A fucking orb, a zap, orb of doom. Orb yeah. of ultimate awesomeness. Mm. It's got fucking lights in it. This this, this looks fucking amazing. It's the coolest thing I've I ever seen. I am absolutely blown away by oh, how cool it, it is. Mm -hmm. And he also bought with us, brought with him a whole bunch of stuff for me and Ben to, to show on XCOM stream, but we're going to save that for then because it is mind blowing. I haven't even seen that. I'm going to tune in. Oh, just, you'll, you'll be like, Mind blown, and you'll probably end up sharing some of it with us. Oh, amazing! Um, that might give you a clue, a little Ooh. too, maybe too much of a clue. Oh, not enough of a clue. It's full of uh, high explosive, Alex. Oh, wow, we're going to share <laughs> some gonna high explosive. Fucking... York Towers is coming down. <laughs> it's coming down. <laughs> it's scheduled for demolition <laughs> next Wednesday. Perfect. Um, Perfect. No, so what is this planet? Do you want to name it? Uh, we'll let someone on chat name it. Big donation. You can name it. Oh, give us a um, give us a name for this planet. That sounds amazing. Okay. So I'm yeah. playing Necrons. Alex mm. is playing Dark Dark Eldar. Yeah. Dark Elves. You've seen both of these armies before in mm. some form. Yeah. Um, I haven't really, I've added two models to my army since the last time you saw it, um, which you'll see. Mm. Um, you have added no models. Um, I ha no, I have, because we're going for 1,500 this time. So I'm slightly bigger. So I've got um, a succubus, which you haven't met. She needs a name. I don't know what her name is. Methuselah <laughs> Solfelcher's wife. Um, <laughs> And and this thing we'll, here. We'll, we'll introduce our yeah, armies in a, a second, megaboat. shall we? Then in that case, but yeah. oh, you've got a big boy, a big boy flyer. Yeah, but uh, that, that sounds fun to use. Yeah. Now, because you haven't got your dark elves code, dark elves, dark, fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> because you haven't got your dark elder codex. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Don't worry about just that. Just talk to me. Okay, that's, that's much better. Actually. And I don't have my Necrons codex no. yet, although it's out on Friday. I oh, pre-ordered it. Have you? Well done. It will be delivered. I've got the collector's edition with like the leather bound cover. Fancy. Skinned of humans, I guess. Ooh. It could not be humans. It might be any any of the pathetic, puny, soft skinned races that were wiped out by the superior metal infantry. Might have been infantry. St stitched together by the flayed ones. Yes, the flayed ones. Yeah, uh, we kind of borrowed a bit of flayed one skin to I wrap like it in. flayed ones. Yeah. Sam, don't make me come over there. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so <laughs> this is like a tomb world, okay? Mm. We'll say it's like the, um, like, like it's got to have a dynasty name, right? Yeah. Like the yeah. fucking, um, like it's all like kind of faux Egyptian-y Egyptian mm. stuff, right? Like, because um, I think the, 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 the dynasties of mm. Necrons are like the Mefrit, mm. the Nephrilak, mm. Novak, Nihilak, and there are more, Sortek is the other one. Mm. They're all kind of like, and so Imotech is the mm. one of the main Sortec leaders. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it's spelled with like a K, mm. uh, like in it. It's Imotech. kind of emo, like kind of like tech, because yeah. that's oh. what robots are. Do you get it? They're like Egypt plus oh. machine. Egypt, Egypt plus machine. I've got it now. I don't know. It's, so Necrons just sort of jumped into my Warhammer life, way through me actually playing it, and I was like, what are these? I don't understand them. I don't know what they are. I don't like them. They don't exist to me. Right. But I've heard they've... Oh, uh, I see. Yeah, after, after a while they came them. around. Yeah. But yeah. now they're it's old enough. Them a bit. They're like, old enough now. It's that... like when a new Dota hero is added yeah. and you don't accept it for a while. You're yeah. like, this isn't part of my game. Exactly. And then after a while you've seen it enough and you're like, okay, I get yeah. it. Yeah, it's space robots. And yeah. now it's like the newer thing that you hate. Like yeah. Tau or whatever. Yeah, exactly. Because uh, because all of my all of my hate transferred onto Tau after a while. Yeah. Yeah, because they were the new kids on the block. I'm looking forward to getting an opportunity to kill 
either Mark Humes's towel or Shin's mm. towel. Yeah. But they are certainly taking their sweet ass time yes. to paint the motherfuckers. Very, very naughty. So painting. we've been talking a little bit about things that we'd like to do, but I think we should just start fucking playing this game. Yeah. Um, cool. Fucking, let's just get on with it. Sam's still going to be fiddling around. Mm. Let's roll to see who starts, shall yeah. we, Alex? Cool. Or see, to, see who de deploys first, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or do, let's de do, should we just deploy unit by unit, which basically involves me just turning my dudes around, and we'll throw some objectives down, because Methuselah Solfelcher has landed on this yet-to-be-named planet. Chuck something in the chat. You can, you can name the planet. Um, but he's collecting for his menagerie. Being an evil space pirate, there's only so much raping and pillaging and putting, like stuff up your nose and whatever it is kind of space so, dark elves do. I see. So this was like a seriously seriously dangerous mission to yeah. the from Tomb World. Yeah, well, well so we make up our own scenario. Yeah. So he's gonna he's coming to collect um <laughs> yeah, collect monsters for his menagerie. Right. And what are these monsters doing? There's like I can see well, I don't know. I can see amongst these monsters what looks like an owl bear. Fucking yeah. hell, Alex. Yeah, these are like the sorts of things that live Does on a Necron... Does this GoPro work? Necron Sam, Tomb World. Samuel and Steve Yule. Might do. There's an owl bear. Mm -hmm. Fucking look at this bad yeah. dude. Yeah. <laughs> so this is like the, the, the flora and fauna of this, of this planet. It's just like all of these bugs, he, well, weird things, he wants to collect them and put them in his zoo. And in doing so, he's woken up are these just models you found in one of your boxes? One of your many boxes? I don't think they're even in my box. I just this found, one I says, found some in the office. The f is this a seal? I don't know what that guy is. But a he, fucking, this looks like a seal, I yeah. guess. Can you guys see this Possibly, thing? possibly he should Got be worth flippers and more, more points. He looks like the sort of thing that would looks hang like around. Looks like a sort of sea lion, a six-legged sort of rat thing. What's this called, Alex? I don't know. We'll call this the, the, the Sealosaurus. Mm. This is going to be called... The, 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 wolf, the wolf rat. <laughs> the wolf rat. This is the owl bear, obviously. obviously and this yeah, guy is an, a six legged wolf. Mm. It's a smaller, lesser wolf rat. A smaller, a lesser wolf rat. A mouse rat. <laughs> Larger a wolf. Mouse, mouse wolf. A wolf okay. mouse. Fox, a fox, fox wolf. A fox wolf. Okay, cool. So these That'll are in, these are. Yeah, so these can be our objectives. What were these doing here on well, what, this Necron homeworld planet? Well, this was not a Necron. Well, it is a Necron homeworld planet. Now. And they normally just scurry around eating. Berries or whatever. Are they hiding like within the, the they're on the planet? Yeah, they're on they're on the planet. They just live on the planet, that's it. Methuselah Solfelcher has brought his wife down and said, let's pick a pet. He's brought his wife down. Yeah, his wife. So <laughs> <laughs> Of course, yes, this yeah. is the other person we need to Yeah, so, so I've got yeah. Um, so let's Yeah, let's let's, let's, let's get, get ourselves a pet. Felcher I've heard here. there are some crazy pets on that planet. And actually I think the Necrons have um, mistaken this trip to PetSmart for an invasion. <laughs> right, and we've woken up out of the tombs and we're like, get yeah, off the planet. Get off the planet. And so we yeah. are like rising up yeah. in a major way. Mm -hmm. And then yeah. like, it gets, gives me the opportunity to use the new model, the mm. one new model that I've added to my army since last time. Mm. The Deceiver, <gasps> the Catan <gasps> Shard of the Deceiver. Look at him, he's mm. pointing it. He's saying, you, <gasps> chat. Chat. You suck, <laughs> get off my fucking planet, chat. Um, so he's, uh, he basically a is a guy, if you mm. don't know, who is a Catan, right? He's one of the a fragment of mm. the star gods that the Necrons enslaved mm. and used to power, in, conquer the entire galaxy. Mm -hmm. that's the, I think that's the fluff, but actually apparently yeah. in the Codex, they're changing all that. Oh. I heard the, 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 the story of the fluff, it's called Fluff, the story, mm. uh, may well have been changed. Anyway, he's a fucking fragment of a star god and he is very tricksy. Mm. And we are going to now use his power against you, Alex. Wow. Do you know what he does? No idea. We'll Good. Find out. Well, you're going to fucking find out. Um, <laughs> Do so... you want me to get, get close to him or far away from him? Well, he will probably get close to you, Alex. <laughs> okay. so, so you I'm don't need gonna, to worry too much about that. I'm just going to know that. about it. All right. That's, um, that's fine. I've got, I've got a, an overlord and a lord leading my army. Mm. And then I've got, as always, a series of, of sets of boys. I've got, mm. you know, guys with spears. Mm -hmm. I've got guys with big guns, I've got guys with regular sized guns, and I've got this, 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 this thing, which mm. is a ghost arc, it's full of, it's like a repair bay for guys, so guys mm. can jump in it. Yeah. It starts empty, mm -hmm. um, but I can use it as a transport for up to 10 guys, but mm -hmm. just imagine those guys are being repaired, so they get swapped in and out. Cool. And then a spider, um, who can like wave at you. Oh wow. Hello. The wavy spider. You can shake his hand, shaky, shaky hand. Good. 
so yeah, that's that's my army. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if we can move this GoPro over to you, Alex. Yeah, I think maybe it comes all the way around here, or... So yeah, so I've got basically my same thing as I've always had. So I've got the... Uh, just some Jab the Hut barges, some witches here. They're all a bit dark in this... Uh, in this yeah, I've got all the light over this Necroni side. lights. Um, what have we got there? Like, one of the flyers, a Razorwing Jet Fighter. There we go, good. that's a bit better. A Razorwing Jet Fighter, a Venom down here. Um, with... This is new, you haven't seen this. This is my succubus, it's a bit dark. Um, oh, maybe that's better. There we go. A succubus? Yeah. What does she suck? So yeah, I, you I don't know what succubuses are. Um, <laughs> this one, um, <laughs> there, there he is. There's the man himself, Matthias oh. Solfelcher. Yeah. Been told to go out on a Sunday to the garden centre to pick up a new pet on a Sunday. And he's like, I'd rather be watching the football. And I see. Yeah. Like, so he's yeah. like, oh, for fuck's sake. Uh, another one of these. Um, some women. Women. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh what we've I'm just sorry I we've, very much doubt that any women are watching this yeah, stream we've just lost 0.5% of, <laughs> of, of the viewership if you are a lady player of Warhammer 40k yeah. and I know there are you out there mm. um, please let us know yeah let us know in, in chat, chat if, you, yeah, if you exist I'd want to know what, what army you play as well mm. because I'm, I'm sure they don't play Sisters of Battle because I know the kind of people who play Sisters of Battle mm. Alex I don't play Sisters of Battle I will <laughs> they're coming out in plastic we're getting them in plastic soon you sound overly yeah. excited. Yeah, 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 I'll be doing those. Yeah. Um, uh, anyway, yeah, more Cabalite Warriors over here, another Jab the Hutt's Battle Barge, and this dude here is new to the thing. He's got so, his own fucking building with him, Alex. Yeah, well, yeah, I thought so. It kind of looks better when it's flying up nice and high like that. But yeah, this is a Void Raven bomber. Oh, my which God. Which is basically just a bigger one. Well, I didn't really bring ones. any anti flying or any anti vehicle. Ooh. So. That should be... This might go pretty fucking badly. Oh, we'll see. I think if you fire enough shots at them, and those guys have got a pretty solid sort of shot output. You've shot just got put. A, yeah, shot puts. You just need to roll enough sixes. Yeah, that's always the problem though, isn't it, Alex? Yeah, with games. wargaming in general. Like Would you like to start with a roll? To see who starts to yeah, play first. Yeah, let's see who can roll like the biggest six. This looks like a new dice, Lewis. You've I've been got, clutching it. I've quite. got a green game science dice. Mm. It's... it's one of those ones, I watched like a YouTube video and there was like an old man complaining about dice and he was mm. like, I, I hate it when my dice don't roll well. I need to carve them at a precise angle so they're accurate. And so these are like, mm. he makes them. He's a super big nerd. Yeah. I bought some of them because they're quite fun yeah. and they're orange. Yeah, right. And the reason I bought them actually was because I bought a load of orange dice for my mm. Necrons. And if you look at them, they kind of look a bit pink. What do you think? Yeah. What do you think, chat? Yeah. Kind do you of... think these dice in the dice tray right now are pink? Mm. Oh. It's fairly obvious when you put them next to each other. I mean, one of these is red, one is pink, and one is orange. Um, with a bit of with a bit of people saying, content. "I won, did I?" Mm. Yeah. That means yeah, so I, I want... get to deploy first. Fine. I'll yeah, do, yeah. I'll, well, I'll, well, I'll put the put the griblies wherever you want on, on oh, the, your the planet jibbles, or something. Yes. Yeah. I suppose this can be a. We'll have what the yeah. How many monsters were there? Got four, four monsters. monsters. Yeah. Four monsters is fine. Do you want to have this computer as well? Why would there be a computer there? Did, sure. Look, did, let's say they not use if you can hack the computer, mm -hmm. that gives you a random, like, random like like D three. I think each one should be worth D three at Perfect. the end. Okay? Yeah. And then we'll okay. roll. We'll see how many we can each collect. Mm -hmm. So first to get them collects them. Mm -hmm. Maybe? Or do you want to see who holds them at the end or what? Because what uh, I'll get them all first. Who's holding them at the end? Yeah. Right, who's holding them at yeah, the end yeah. gets yeah. D3 for each. Mm -hmm. All right, that sounds yeah. fun. And the computer counts then. Yeah, I mean, so we could we could do this can nice they and fight, Can they fight back? Of course they can. Yeah. Could, do, every time you're holding them, they attack you. Yeah. And we'll decide how many well, attacks they, they well, get based let, on let, how let, us, let us know in chat. Ping us a, ping us a message. Give us and, some stats for the monsters. Rat Wolf, make them up. Yeah, Rat Wolf. Seal. I'm pretty sure he's not going to be very effective. Coelosaurus and, and, uh, and the and lesser, the, the rat, lesser wolf rat wolf. Yeah. All right. I'll put the owl bed up here, like just yeah. on, in a cage on yeah. display. Just, just cruising around. I think the Coelosaurus is sort of going to have his first go at stairs. He's never done stairs <laughs> before. <laughs> 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 yeah. Flaps his sort of. Yeah, he's just practic <laughs> practicing <laughs> stairs. Fun on the stairs. <laughs> sure. We'll put the. Um, the, the rat wolf mm. over, I think, probably 
If I'm going to put the rat wolf down in this corner here, yeah. So it looks like something I could fairly easily Perfect. secure. I mean, this thing's horrible, isn't it? Yeah, the big, the 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 greater rat wolf. Mm. Yeah, it says it's a Kyrix here, but I think a greater rat wolf a is Kyrix. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, greater rat wolf, six legged. Six six legged. Six legged greater rat wolf. Oh man, he's here. He's chasing the seal up the stairs. So we better learn quick to get up the stairs. Okay. Perfect. All right. Oh, these things move randomly at the end of every turn, or the start of every turn. Okay, and we have, do we have a scatter dice? Uh, yeah, we do. Yeah, have. Got a scatter dice? I bought some... Oh, yeah. I bought some battle trays, I was calling them. Ooh. But I'm not going to... I'm going to try and not use them today, because people were complaining that my use of battle trays last yeah. time was, was a bit stupid. Wow. And when you've got 40 Necron Warriors to move, it doesn't feel that stupid, does it? Does, no. your, does any of your stuff deep strike, Alex? No, I'm not going to deep strike anything. Okay. Um, yeah, I think that's that's for suckers and chumps. Suckers and or chumps. Yeah. I'm going to make an incredibly long lo My first deployment is 20 warriors in a very long line. Okay. okay. All along this area. Oh, man, this looks like some sort of tournament tactic. That it does. You're trying like, to pull on me. Like, like a like, screen. Like you know exactly what you're doing. What are you going to What are you going to deploy? Yeah, I don't know. So I'm going to deploy my uh, this this Void Raven bomber up here. Okay. That will be deployed. Right, mm -hmm. over, over on that side. Yep. I will deploy my, let's deploy my Lich Guard, who are my spearmen, mm -hmm. over on this side here. Okay. So these guys are in a, in a little nice tight formation mm -hmm. over on this side, just above a, a sort of a hole, a dip, <coughs> kind of, if you like. I'm um, putting my Overlord, have you done your second deployment? Yeah, I've right. done all of my stuff, I'm down. Okay, fine, well I'm, I'm pretty <laughs> easy too. I'm just gonna put this guy looking through this window. Maybe he like, mm. He like likes spider guy over there. Yeah. My deceiver here and my lord. Mm -hmm. uh, he can be he can be back here. And so can Mongoli. Immortals! Mm. Immortals! Yes! Okay, and they could be back a bit, I think. Mm -hmm. So the great thing about Warhammer mm. 40k is. Yeah. When you don't use these dumb movement trays, you can just spread your guys out all over the flipping place, like absolutely mm. a mad, a mad person. So who finished first deployment, by the way? I guess uh, it's just whoever has the most units. Many, yeah, whoever had the most One, units. One, two, three, four, five, six, mm. seven, eight units I've got. Okay, cool. I've got uh, two, four, five, uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, yeah, all of them. I've got all the units. So I, I get plus one mm. on the r official rules Yeah. to my um, who gets to go first roll. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so ju uh, just to make things a bit clearer, this guy is deploying my, is, my, Archon, my Archon Methuselah is deploying inside this Venom with his Incubi bodyguard. And this uh, raider here has got 10 witches and Methuselah's wife. So the Necrons have fielded quite a big army here, mm. okay? It's got just a bunch of Necron boys, a bunch of warriors have woken up from their, their tomb world. Can, mm. Do you want to give me the, do you want to go pro? Oh yeah, 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 here we go. We'll just quickly yeah. like survey the battlefield yeah. with a GoPro so mm -hmm. you guys can like see what we're seeing yeah. and get a picture of what the, what the state of play is. Mm -hmm. So, okay, I've got um, my Deceiver here at the front with some guys with spears. Mm -hmm. And he's got a little leader behind him, a lord, and my immortals here as well. Mm -hmm. And then I've got the um, 20 warriors all strung out along that whole line. Ghost Ark there, spider here, and my little, my little leader down there. Okay? Cool. All right, and there's going to gonna be some big plays. There's going to be some big plays straight away out of the Really? Turn, you're, just, the you're just going to come straight at me turn one? I think that's probably going to happen. Man, so, but, a... you, but you've got such high movement as well that it's going to be... Yeah, but... Uh... I don't know, the, like the roar of the engines might be scaring the monsters all over the place. I mean, it's really hard to tell how this Monst one's going to end. What, you mean the owlbear and stuff? Yeah, the owlbear like and the other... Running all over the map. Yeah. So, yeah, so I've got, I've got a pair of planes on this flank here. Raider with some witches in it here. Uh, empty venom there. Up here is a... Command venom. venom. Yeah, the command venom with the stuff. And then we've got two units of ten warriors left and right of this. These guys behind a laser fence. Don't know what that does. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make up some rules for it. Yeah, perfect. Um, there's an empty uh, raider here, and up there is my Void Raven bomber. 
What does the laser fence do? It gives d damages everything that passes through it. On a six, they get cut <laughs> up by lasers. Perfect. <laughs> that sounds fair. <laughs> That's exactly what I'd planned. Okay. Solid deployment. Cool. Should we roll to see who's the cool? Yes, I get plus one. Yeah. But who knows? This might be this might be a risk. Uh, let's use my my orange dice. Ooh. Okay, you ready? Fancy. Bam. Three, six. six. Oh right. crap! So you get to start. Yeah, you get a chance to seize the cheese, though. I do get a so, chance, yeah. a chance to seize the battlefield, mm -hmm. um, which I could do, mm. and maybe I should do. Let's try that. It is a four. That is not enough. That's not enough to seize. So you get to start now. Mm. This is when the deceiver actually triggers. Ooh. All right. So okay. he triggers before the first battle round. Mm -hmm. I was hoping that I would get first action. Yeah. Right. Because the deceiver is like a big. A big, a big plus. So the receiver, basically the way it works is at the start of the first battle, beginning of the first battle round, so before, any, before the first turn begins, mm. you can remove the deceiver and or D3 other friendly Necron units. Ooh. So three units, mm. okay, and I can move them, set them up again more than 12 inches from enemy models. Ooh. All right, so I'm just going to fucking move this whole group of people, this unit, this unit, and this unit, mm. and the deceiver, and just just move them. Holy shit, this is why he's called the deceiver there. Yeah, because you thought I was deploying here. No, you fooled me. You were going to be there, and now you're... I'm going to move over here. Is that where you're going to go? Yeah, definitely. Okay. So cool. I'm going to put the deceiver down here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to... In fact, I probably want to put them... I want to put them close enough that I can... But the thing is, you still get the first turn. Yeah, yeah. So in a sense, like, I don't want to be... It's great if I, I could move closer to you. Mm -hmm. I feel like this thing's going to come in and shoot me anyway. Yeah. This thing's going to come and shoot me anyway. These guys are, are close enough to move and shoot me. So I feel like I'm going to get shot at, like, mm. whatever I do. We are just going to just fucking set up on these stairs, I think, as best we can. Just just get, get, get like, a covering position going. Oh, man. And try not to get too many fucking, too many casualties in turn one. The, the Coelosaurus is probably going to change his mind. What an awful thing to happen on your first day learning stairs. <laughs> Cedasaurus. <laughs> he's like, it's just his, it's his first day on stairs, and he's already being like uh, brutally assaulted by mm -hmm. by by effect, what is effectively an incredibly large group of of, of mm. terrifying necrom necrom dudes. All right. Okay, Alex, mm. that is my deceiver. So I've make been, of that what you will. Yeah, I've been I've been deceived. You have. I'll give you that. I haven't put anything on this side at all. It's all on this side. Yeah. Cool. Especially all in the open. Going to well. have to start getting stuff over onto that side of the board now and killing you up a bit. Yeah, I think so. I'm right. hoping that your flyers won't be able to get um, too close. The start of the turn, should we move each of these monsters D6 inches? D10 inches? D20 inches? Sure. D12 inches? D6 inches. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sure. And if they run into a model, they have to attack it. Yeah, cool. So yeah, the owl bear goes that way one inch. <laughs> he's like, Rawr! this wolf, three inches he's that way, running away from everything. Three okay. inches that way. The Coelosaurus, Let's see if he can do stairs. Oh, he's no, run away from he's the stairs. Turned it, turned away. He's like, earth, earth. Oh, into the mouth of a. They don't fight each other. No, they're they're friends. They're buddies. <laughs> it's like animals of farthing wood, isn't it? But. The kind of six-legged version. <laughs> oh, bam! And he rolls a six. And but stays where he is. There. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. He, he's like high-fiving yeah. the seal. He's like unlucky buddy. So, do we yeah. have to chase these around? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Yeah. I see. That stuff makes sense. I like that. Yeah, and we'll sort of we'll try and get these things. At the, yeah. At do, the we end get, of every... do we get victory points for first blood, leader kill? Like yeah, crap? all of those. Yeah. Okay. Um, Who's your warlord? That Methuselah self. Yeah. Like. So he's a, yeah. I think this lord here is my, my leader, actually, mm -hmm. interestingly. Okay, cool. So, yeah, bear that in mind. Can I start moving some dudes then? Aye. Cool, that's it. So, you I'm may. going Aye. to fly, fly some flyers over oh here. Oh, God. So, this is what kind of mission are we playing, uh, uh, Wraith G? We are playing a custom one that we have fucking made up on yeah. the spot. We spent Because hours. we're cool guys, and we've played enough of this to mm. make it up. No, the, the mission is. For menagerie, it's called, it's called Menagerie Menace. Menagerie. our custom scenario. You can use it at home if you want. Four animals have escaped the zoo and <laughs> all their cages. And Mr. Uses of Felcher no, 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 is looking wild. for a new pet for his wife. Mm. And we don't know what his wife's going to feel about the pets until they're home. Right? So you're just going to have to capture as many as you can. Mm. And um, <laughs> hopefully she'll like one of them. And if she does, 
oh, fucking hell, Alex, this is a bit scary, isn't it? These fucking mm. planes have just flown over. Yeah, yeah. In an absolutely terrifying manner. There he goes. He's gonna gonna lead from uh, lead by example. He's not getting out. He can't get out. But I'll just put that there so you remember he's in there for the moment. Is that more or less confusing? I think it's fine, Alex. I yeah. think it's understandable. Cool. I'm with I'm with it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Oh, blimey. This guy's gonna head over here. He's gonna claim the claim the owl seal bear. And this is gonna zip over here. It's just like a bombing run is happening here. Yeah, yeah. All of our armies are already completely on top of each other. Yeah, well, the, the, I think we want to get, get a game, don't we? Yeah, it's true. I'm going to get like a ton of gunfire coming into me on turn one, though. Yeah, so the trick with these dudes is I have to try and kill like a whole unit at a time, right? Uh, yes, if you That's, can wipe out a unit, then they yeah. don't come back. So this laser fence has scuppered me a bit. Are you sure you don't want to risk it? What, what did you say it did? Six plus, they tough for a mortal wound. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> no, you've got a roll for each of them that crosses it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, so they're all going to cross it. Yeah, all they're of all going to cross it. Yeah, yeah, why not? <laughs> oh, two of them, Ooh, three shit. of them. Three. Yikes. Well. You know, that's the first casualty of to, the game. You have to take, take risks like that, you know? You, yeah, them being in position means they're going to be, be able to, you know, add to the shooting. Mm. Charge men! Right, perfect. Maybe they didn't realise it was like one of those electric fences and you touch it mm. and it's like, oh, this isn't an electric fence because it's, it's one that pulses. And as soon as you start climbing over it, yeah. whoa, it fucking shocks you. Yeah, and you're just on the floor. Yeah, And so then the lasers get you. What a way to go, huh? What an awful, awful way to go. Three Kabbalite warriors have died. Immediately. Yeah. But don't worry, there will be much more death and carnage to come. Oh, so who is your... So the deceiver, is he just like... A dude, he's not your... He's not your the warlord, he warlord. can't even be the warlord. Okay. Because he is actually a okay. nightmare amalgamation. He doesn't actually even want to be on my team. Is he like a heavy support choice or is he a... He's an elite choice, mm -hmm. I believe. Yeah, he is 225 points. He has uh, a four up invulnerable save. He has a power of the Catan, um, which is roll d6 on a two plus, the closest visible enemy unit within 24 inches suffers D3 mortal wounds. Okay. I think I just let him have the default one. I didn't actually pick. And he has got the character tag. Maybe he doesn't. Yes, he does. He has the character tag, so you can't target him before, unless he's the closest one. Unless he's the closest one. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Well, I'm not interested in targeting him. I'm going to shoot all of these dudes with the halberds because they look horrible. Go for and it. So this lot's going to be within rapid fire range, I suppose, of this here. Um, the heavy weapon has moved, so that's going to be minus one, so that'll be hitting on fours, the rest will be on threes. Okay. And I'll roll the slot twice, except for the red one. Do it. Yeah. Um, so threes to hit. Ugh, that's, that's three not, That's hits. not fantastic. No. Three, three hits, hits, but one was with the dark lance. The dark lance. The dark lance. And the rest of them... Uh, Four more. Yeah. So, so that's seven, seven total, hits. So that's literally all the dice that I had anyway. And the Dark Lance. So the Dark Lance is wounding on... What's probably the a, of those probably guys? a two. Yeah, it's four a toughness. Cannon. Yeah. Is it eight strength? Yeah. Okay, so it wounds. The, the so, last yeah. cannon wounds. And three of those haven't wounded. Bam. So okay. three regular wounds. And one from the... the what is the save of that? What is, what is um, the AP minus of that? So the really AP, bad. AP minus of the Dark Lance is minus four. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, that is not going to be enough to save. They actually mm. don't even have a save, so yeah. I didn't know why I rolled that. I needed more than a six, which I definitely didn't get. Are we going to say the stairs are cover or not? Do you reckon uh, they're cover? Yeah, there's no cover there otherwise. Yeah, use some cover here. All right, that's very kind of you. Well, they do, actually, from this angle, you're actually sunk quite nicely in there anyway. Okay. From me shooting up here. And, yeah, yeah not, so they can not, just not duck, just, duck behind yeah, the not stairs. not just being nice, but they are in All a right. trench. Thank you. Well, I don't expect you to be nice to me, Alex. Uh, I think if someone was here shooting at it, maybe not. And then, but what was it, three other saves or four other saves? Uh, four other saves, yeah. Uh, and I think probably one of those is a fail. <laughs> so... Was it AP minus one? Uh, no, just AP AP zero. So two plus yeah. is a save actually in, mm -hmm. in that case. So it's fine. They're all they're, wow, they, they will got save. two up armor saves. Three up oh, armor right. save, plus one for the cover. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just so roll a D six for your 
star cannon, whatever? Uh, is it how many damage is your cannon? Oh, yeah, yeah. Is it a flat two? Uh, no, it's a, it's a D6, the star cannon. Well, the, what's it called? Uh, the Dark Lance. You need to just roll the two or more, because yep. they only have two wounds. Bam. You rolled a five. Cool. Bam. One of them has died. I'm fried. One, one dead Lich Guard. That's not bad from a little cheap squad. No. Right. Although you didn't roll great. If you'd rolled a bit better, maybe it would have been better. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, this could this could easily be a cooperative mission. Just coming to find some some animals. I could. I don't know how good a neck one would Shall be. Shall we just it, split the animals? Well, would a neck? I would only want to split every animal <laughs> right down the middle. I, I wouldn't want to. So I want half of each animal, Alex. <laughs> how do you feel about that? Uh, no, that's not that's not the best. I think the missus would kill me. <laughs> Um, I don't think a Necron would be very good at helping you choose you could, a family pet either. You could probably splice the two back together, <laughs> like half of the seal bear with half the owl bear. And, you know... I think animals with odd numbers of limbs are a bit weird. Right. There's not many. I see what you mean. Uh, What's next? Yeah, so next is, next is this. Another I'm doing, squad, I'm, except I'm, for yeah, this I'm is doing exactly squad. the same with a complete squad. Oh no, that's nine dice. I need ten dice. There we go. Right, so same again. Ugh. Missed with the Dark Lance that time. Thank God. Uh, 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 they're all awful. Okay. All right. And then you so get to roll some more. That's four of them. Four hits. hits. And this many again. Oh, that's better. Oh, that's a bit better. Four plus that lot, so. Four plus seven, 11. Yeah. 11 so hits. All of these, so all of these wounding on fours. Yeah. Look, and then you're two to save. That's a, that's a killer, isn't it? Um, How many you got? Ugh, not very many. Oh shit, one. One? Literally one. Well, this is this is fine. Bam, saved. Okay. Okay, terrible. Right. Well, these Let's... were your puny troops anyway. So. Yeah. So I'm going to try try and do better next time. So I'm going to fire a dark lance into them as well from here. That's a miss. That's no good at all. Uh, I'm going to fire a dark lance from here into them. That's a miss. Oh. I'm going to fire a load of splinter cannons. These things have got dual splinter cannons on them. These are rapid fire three. Okay, so that's um, six and dice. There's, and there's two of them. So that's 12 dice. Yeah, so this is for this first closest one uh, on the same units of, what well, are they? Lich guard. Lich guard. Yeah, Lich guard. So these guys, right. these guys normally can be equipped either with okay. uh, swords and shields, or hyperface swords and shields, or the um, war glaives, which mm -hmm. are what they've got. If they get the sword and shield, they get a three up invulnerable, mm -hmm. um, which is pretty good. Yeah. Um, What's your toughness? My toughness is four. Ugh. Um, oh, does it, well, it doesn't matter, yeah, this is four ups anyway, because it's, uh, does it have half decent strength? No, it's literally just literally just four ups, whatever it does. So okay. yeah, so that was one wound from the first dude. What? And AP? Uh, no AP. Six, ah, oh, saved. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool, so I'm going to do the same with the second one here. I don't think much of these guns. <laughs> Did you just, are you just rolling real bad? That might be it. Uh, yeah. Yeah, there is. So you need to get yourself some game science. There is that. Accurate. Do you think they're, do you think they're the, most, the most accurate dice we can? Well, I watched a video and there was an old bearded man complaining about dice. And I thought, this is the man who I want to make my dice. He's mm -hmm. been dice rolling his whole life. And he wants to make sure he gets the most amount of sixes he can possibly get. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think all dice probably have an inherent yeah. skew in them, so like two, cheap two, ones. Two anyway. more saves. But when you're rolling like 10, I think it probably just balances out. Right? Yeah, so I mean, the... How I don't much know. damage is it? Um, just one damage per hit. Yeah, so I'm sort of I'm, I'm up to here so far with the thing. But yeah, I mean, it's obviously heavier at the bottom here because there's only one pip taken out of it. Right. The Chinese dice with the big one at the bottom of them. You see that where it nearly takes up the whole... Have we got dice again? But yeah, the Chinese dice that have got like a big one at the bottom of them, much bigger than that, kind of helps to balance out the amount of material removed on the oh, I see. on the top and bottom. But that is going to skew it. It's much heavier at the bottom there. Right. Because it's only had... So it's going to roll more ones? Yeah. No, it's, it's going to roll more sixes, potentially. Oh, I well... Yeah. Oh, because the bottom's lighter. Slightly, yeah, the bottom's slightly heavier than the than the top. Right. So I just want to be using normal dice then, cheap as possible. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The worst ones you can get. Okay. <laughs> but now you get if you get some uh, some salt water, you can test all of your favourite dice to see how well balanced they are. Oh you right. Get a, yeah. You just get. Um, or the sea. The yeah. All the sea. Go to the sea. Throw all of your dice into it, and just see, just, just, just go for it. it. Just go for a, it. Get a notepad and then just note which ones. <laughs> Yeah. And how they balance. Which ones wash up first? Yeah. Because they're the lucky ones. Yes. The others have been eaten by whales and porpoises. And, and seal sauruses. Yeah, seal sauruses and everything, yeah. yeah. But no, yeah, get, a, get enough salt water that your dice float and, um, yeah, chuck them in there. 
okay. and the, the lighter side will be at the top and it's Chat more likely to do that. Chat has plenty of salt actually to put into water. Oh, can we borrow some off it? I mean, well, we'll see how this gets. A few people are quite, we might need yeah. to, we've, we'll have plenty later on. Well, mm. I will have plenty yeah. later on. But then again, if you'll keep rolling these dice, Alex, I'll be fucking delighted.